Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to breastfeed using the Haka. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps of breastfeeding with a Haka and provide helpful tips so that you can make it as easy and comfortable for both mother and baby. 1. What is a Haka? A Haka is a silicone breast milk collector that allows women to collect any leaking milk while breastfeeding. It's designed to be used on the other side of the breast that your baby isn't feeding from and works by suctioning onto the nipple and collecting the let down. This means you can easily collect precious milk without having to rely on manual pumping or expressing it throughout the day. The resulting collection of liquid gold can then be used for later feeds or stored in the fridge or freezer for future use. 2. How do I use a haka to breastfeed? A haka is a simple and natural breastfeeding device that can be used to help your baby feed. It works by using suction to extract the milk from your breast, just like a baby would do when nursing. First, you will need to make sure your haka is clean and sterilized before use. Then, attach the flange of the pump over the nipple area and ensure it is firmly in place. You can now start sucking on the mouthpiece of the haka and gently pull on the base of your breast at the same time, as this will help create a vacuum effect, allowing more milk to flow into your pump. When you feel like you have extracted enough milk, release both pressure and suction and you are done. The Haka pump can be used on one breast while the other is being used to nurse your baby or it can be stored in the fridge for later use. Most moms find that using a Haka is an easy, convenient way to provide extra nutrition for their little ones while they are breastfeeding. It also helps create a bond between mom and baby, as both can enjoy time together during feeding sessions. 3. What are the benefits of breastfeeding with a haka? Using a haka to aid in breastfeeding has many benefits. The biggest advantage of using the haka is that it can help increase your milk supply. This is especially important for those who are dealing with low milk supply or have experienced a drop-off in their production levels. Additionally, since the hawk is designed to fit snugly over the breast and provide gentle suction, it can also be used as an effective way to express milk without having to use an electric or manual pump. The Haka pump also allows you to collect let-down milk that would otherwise be lost when feeding your baby directly from the breast. This helps ensure that nothing goes to waste and can help build up an emergency stash of breast milk for when you're away from the baby. 4. Are there any safety precautions I should take when using a haka? Yes, there are some safety precautions you should take when using a haka. As with all products used for baby care, it's important to make sure that your haka is clean and safe before use. Make sure that you regularly wash and sanitize the silicone cup of your pump according to the manufacturer's instructions. Additionally, if you're using a manual pump, it's important to keep an eye on the suction power check for any air leaks or other problems after each use to avoid damage or injury. If you notice any issues, stop using the pump until they are resolved. Finally, ensure that you store and transport your haka correctly and never leave it in an area that could become too hot or cold, such as a car. 5. What positions are best for breastfeeding with a haka? When breastfeeding with a hawker, it is important to choose the position that is most comfortable for both mother and baby. The cradle hold or cross cradle hold are two of the most popular positions used when breastfeeding with a haka. In the cradle hold, you place your baby's head in the crook of your arm and support their back with your other hand. You can then use your free hand to attach the suction base of the haka to your breast, allowing milk to be drawn out gently and painlessly. In the cross cradle hold, you'll tuck one arm beneath your baby's neck while supporting their back with the other arm. This position also allows you to use your free hand to attach the haka. You can also try side lying or reclining while breastfeeding with a haka, both of which are comfortable positions that promote natural latching and flow of milk. With these positions, you can place the haka beside your baby instead of on their body, allowing them more freedom of movement during feeding. However, it is important to make sure that the base of the hawker remains securely attached to your breast for the best results. 6. How often should I use the hawker to breastfeed? 
It's important to use the hawk regularly if you want to ensure that your breast milk supply remains consistent. How often you use it depends on your individual needs, but in general, it's recommended to use the haka for about 5 minutes each time before or after breastfeeding, or both. This helps to maintain a steady milk flow and keeps your breasts comfortable and healthy. However, be sure to take breaks every now and then overusing the haka can lead to sore nipples or engorgement. Additionally, make sure that you're also feeding your baby directly from the breast when possible. This allows them to draw out more full milk as well as hind milk, which ensures they get all the nutrients they need. 7. Are there any tips or tricks to help make breastfeeding with a hawk easier? Ness, here are some tips and tricks to make breastfeeding with a hawk easier. 1. Make sure the suction rim of your hawk is clean before using it. This will help ensure an airtight seal and maximum suction. 2. Experiment with different sizes and shapes of your haka to find the one that works best for you. 3. Use a warm compress on your breast before using your haka to help stimulate milk flow, or try gently massaging the area around your nipple while pumping to increase milk production. 4. If you're having trouble getting the suction to stay in place, try wrapping an elastic band around the base of your haka to help keep it in place. 5. If you're having trouble expressing milk with your haka, try holding the base of your breast while using the pump to create a more secure seal and encourage let down. 6. Make sure to always rinse and sanitize your haka after each use and store it in a clean, dry container when not in use. 7. Finally, don't forget to provide yourself with plenty of breaks during pumping sessions and remember that every bit counts. A few tablespoons of express milk can make all the difference for a baby's growth and development. We hope you've enjoyed this ultimate guide to breastfeeding with a haka. We know that there are many methods and tools out there for successful breastfeeding, but we believe the haka is one of the most convenient and comfortable options available. If you have any questions or comments about using a haka, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching.